it's Anne. Today we're going to do a twin flame reading. I haven't done one in a while. So let's see where the divine masculine is. So for, for those who are in separation, for twin flames who are in separation, wondering what's going on with their divine masculine. Okay. All right. I didn't have to shuffle too long. These just came out as you can see. So he is wounded. See this guy has his band-aid around his head. Standing guard trying to protect and defend himself against judgment is what I'm hearing. Justice. So he may be going through a legal battle of some sort. In regards to the family or his um, his assets, his foundation, his life, his whole life, his legacy. Okay, so he's defending himself, standing guard, defending, defending his. Okay, I think it should be over here. So he's basically defending guarding what he's built up, his life investment, his foundation from this ongoing legal battle. All right. See, here he is wielding the sword. Okay, so there may be a, a small message that comes in. Or a message of apology. There's a lot of things going on with him right now. Lots of choices, decisions, options, conflicts, confusion. I'm hearing chaos as well. But change is coming. Change for the better is coming for him. And if you're a Divine Masculine watching this, know that change is coming for the better for you. Yeah, after the legal situation, he'll get his share of the assets or the funds, and then he's going to walk away. And the, and the karmic, the counterpart, will get their share. And so this is a page and this is a queen. So I'm getting a sense that the results from the legal battle, he will get less than the karmic. Or she will get less than the karmic. So he or she, depending on your situation. Okay. So whoever your divine masculine is, he or she, whoever they may be, once a legal determination has been finalized they will get less so it's not going to be 50 50 maybe 60 40 70 30 it's not going to be a 50 50 even split but he'll get whatever he gets which is less than the karmic and then he'll take that or she'll take that and, and, and walk away with that Yeah, he's 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 looking at things with different eyes, new perspective. He's gotten he's gotten his enlightenment. I'm just gonna say he, but you switch the roles how you see fit. Yeah, he wants to um, make an offer. Yeah, that offer. Once he finished this up, he wants he's he's. He's reminiscing, having nostalgia about the Divine Feminine. He wants to make an offer. But I hear, but not yet. Yeah. He wants emotional fulfillment. He wants happiness. Yeah, see? New beginnings. So, just to recap, he has enlightenment. 
He's feeling nostalgic, wanting to reconcile and make an offer to the Divine Feminine. He wants happiness and emotional fulfillment with the Divine Feminine and a new beginning, a new peaceful beginning with abundance and love, overflowing with emotion and love and passion, Queen of uh, Queen of Wands. Yeah, he's trying to stay strong and balance and heal. Staying balanced through this tower moment. Yeah, top of the deck with what is the Nine of Swords. So he's trying to stay strong as he's going through this tower moment where everything is chaotic and upheaval. He tr he's trying to remain calm and even kill and balance through this stress and nightmare. It's like major stress and nightmare, upheaval, chaos. Look at this. Being stabbed in the back ending brutal brutal it's a brutal battle I tell you all right I wonder when this will end for the divine masculine because every reading I do it's it's like the same old same old I guess it's dragging on I don't know sometimes I get frustrated when I do these readings because it's like none ending it's the same old, same old, same old. I guess things like this take time or takes a while if you're going back and forth. All right. Any additional messages for the Divine Masculine Spirit? What else? What is the Divine Masculine? All right. This, this is a lot of cards. Let's see. Okay. So Chariot, there will be four movement. Temperance, here's that balance, healing, stability. Okay, so he's going to go through that door of light. Oh my God, look at this. Defending himself. It's a battle. All right. So this is like on the other side after this battle this battle ten of wands see this heavy burden this heavy heavy burden trying to be stable practical and logical new ace of coins new stable beginning Yeah, lots of darkness, shadows, illusion. It may, may be hidden from you too. You may not see it. If, especially if you're not in communication, right? You don't know what's going on. But look, bottom of the deck is the fool. He's going to take that leap, take that risk, take that new beginning, new start. As we have the Ace of Cups and now we have the fool. So we have a minor arcana and we have a major arcana. Yeah, Four of Cups. So he's finally, finally seen it. It's, it's so funny because in the pre-shuffle I had used this deck here. And Four of Cups came out also. But it's funny now that I'm doing it actually on video. The same card came out again. But this Four of Cups, he's actually looking up. Traditionally, the Four of Cups, the guy is... Or the, yeah, the guy's looking at three cups, not seeing this. So this is telling me, because in this deck, this card, the guy's looking at this. So he's seeing, he's finally seeing the light. Well, that makes sense, because he has enlightenment, right? Enlightenment, an aha moment, the light bulb went off. All right, so he's finally not focusing on these. 
finally seeing the light, seeing the offer, seeing the guidance from above. Hallelujah. All right. So there's hope, Pet Feminines. It's a very slow movement, but there's hope. Be patient. Yeah, so I think he's seeing... He's seeing the light in regards to the karmic. That she's all about things. Materialistic things and things. Yeah, two of coins balancing. He was juggling balancing. There's quick changes coming in. Messages of peace and hope coming in quickly. He's working on healing his heart. All these things here are green. Is To me, I take it as the heart chakra. So he's balancing. Here he's balancing screen also, balancing the between the Divine Feminine and the Karmic in regards to his heart, balancing within himself. But quick message of peace is coming in for him, and he's working on healing his heart piece by piece, one step at a time. As I say that, look, we have two of cups. This is beautiful. I'm in awe how the cards come out. Okay, so he's healing his heart piece by piece, one piece at a time. It's like he's mending his heart one piece at a time. He's And then he's going to get to this this place of love. Once he gets to that place, then it will be reunion. Peace, commitment, love, reunion, equal balance with his twin. That's really nice energy, actually. This, the next card is the Page of Wands, but this particular deck, it shows I see two wands, four wands here, so it reminds me it has the energy of the four of wands, like foundation, two of cups getting together with lots of passion, building a solid foundation with the Divine Feminine. I hear win, win, win. Okay, so we'll we'll see if we can get win in a little bit when I clarify. Nine of coins. Yeah, co go, coming to that place of peace. Look, there's doves, flowers. A peaceful, happy place. Independent of the karma. Yeah, I see he's waiting. Waiting for his ship to come in. The star again. We got the star twice, you guys. He's healing, balancing. The angels are working with him. This is also Aquarius. So there's the Aquarius sign. So if your divine masculine is in Aquarius, there's significance here as well. All right. Yeah, he's going to he's going to rise, take control, be in power. He's going to it's funny how this is under this. After this, he's going to rise like the phoenix. From the fire, from the ashes to be in power to take his role as king. As I say that the next card is King of Swords. Yep. So if your divine masculine is an Aquarius or an air sign, this reading is ex has extra significance. Because it seems like that's what divine masculine, this reading is picking up on divine masculine in general, but especially 
a queer, especially air sign, divine masculine, and then if you want to go even more focus, um, Aquarians, divine masculine, because they seem to come up. And here's confirmation. The next card on top is six of swords. Yep. He's moving away from all that chaos going forward with the light. See? And here, the next card up top. I was going to put this deck away, but I keep drawing cards, so I'll put it back. Yeah, moving away from this tower. Moving away from the tower. Oh my goodness, look at this. Six of Cups again, you guys. Reconciliation. Look. Look at these cards. It's beautiful. So here's the order. Waiting for his ship to come in. The star, right? Healing. Rising after he heals. Air sign. The tower. Moving away from the tower. Going towards the divine feminine for reconciliation and reunion and gift offering. Because we have the six of cups already. We have the six of cups somewhere. Maybe in the first deck. And then we have the two of cups as well. I hear he's coming. Yeah, see, he's coming. Oh, look at this. He's going to... Once all his heart is healed, because he's healing his heart piece by piece, once all his heart is healed, he's going to come towards the Divine Feminine, make an offer, look at this, and give a piece of his heart. Sweet. Very sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Look, next card on top of the Nine of Cups, so love offer, emotional offer. And we have King of Cups. All right. Oh my God, you guys, the next card is Lovers. This order is amazing. Six of Cups, making the love offer. Nine of Cups, making the love offer. King of Cups, making the love offer as a mature, as a mature man. So his inner self as the inner child, as well as the outer as the man, as a little boy and as a man and lovers. So we have two of cups in this reading, as well as the lovers. Look at this. And we have six of cups. Twice. Right. And I have picked up offer apologies. All right. Is there anyone? What's the next card on top? Yeah, magician manifesting, creating, mastery, the emperor. Six of coins again. Balance, equal giving and take this time around. Yeah, because he had regrets before. All right. Anything else? The stack? It's like, okay, so that's, we're done. All right, so we want to know when, right? Although it's very difficult. But we will try because this, I'm going to use this because this has time in it. It has like the season. So let's see if Spirit will provide us any clue. All right. There it guys, angels, Senate Masters, can you give us a possible timeline of approximately when when the Divine Masculine Healer. Okay, so healer when he's healed. And so it's different. For a different Divine Masculine, depending on how much work they do and how long it takes to heal. Bottom of the deck is prison. That's the prison of the mind. Look at this. Underneath that is work. So they have to work on themselves with Divine Guidance. Remember I said that his guy, his angels? 
And then on the top, it's justice. Yeah, he's going through this legal battle. Then he has to heal. So that's why I remember up here, I, I heard not yet. Look, we have imagination and we have home. So he's thinking of you. So believe. This is a message for Divine Feminine. Believe. Relax. <laughs> Spirit saying relax, Divine Feminine. Chill and forgiveness. Divine Feminines may need, need to work on forgiveness. Journey. So Spirit's reminding us it's a journey, not, not a destination, right? It's a journey. Twin flame journey. Empath. So you guys are connected. You can feel what he's going through. But there will be success. All right. Oh my God, you guys. Remember I had say Phoenix, he will rise. He will rise from that Ten of Swords. He will rise from that Ten of Swords, I had said. He will rise from this and become the Emperor. And look, I've never used this Oracle deck in a reading before. And look, there's a Phoenix, and he will rise like a Phoenix. This is wild. It's crap. All right. What else? <sighs> Does this apply? Manipulation. So there's, there's, well, we knew there's manipulation, deception, you know, as he's going through the court battle. So he is a knight. I'm hearing knight in shining armor. Be grateful, gratitude for the journey. And finally, we get a time, because we're asking for time, right? Spring. So spring. That's nice, where everything is blossoming and blooming. Oh my God, romance. Romance in the spring. Tw intuition. Trust your intuition. It could be sooner if he heals faster and he works on himself. Yeah, the bridge. So... There's that connection. And there is change because we got change. We got the wheel, right? We got the wheel. Hello from heaven. So you may get, uh, you may see a feather or get a message. If you have people, guides or people, loved ones who have passed, they may be helping with helping you on with your turn, twin flame journey or connection or just supporting you as well as you go through this. Yes, he goes through the confusion. And look, you guys, there's unity. How sweet is this? So we have two of cups. And we have six of cups twice. And then now we have union. Look at this. Look. We have another Six of Cups, too, but it's buried under there, so I'm not going to pull it up. I can only hold three cards in my hands anyway. Look. This is beautiful. Okay, so it's just confirming that what we already know, eventually there will be a reunion, a reconnection, but we still have to do our work. So feminine... Let's see, is there, can you get give a message for the Divine Feminine? I'm assuming, Feminine, just continue, focus on your work. Do your work. And then the Divine Masculine do his work. And once he heals his heart, put it together. And we got spring. So, but don't focus on that too much. Just focus on you. Be Focus on the now, be in the moment. Purity. Purity. Yeah. So continue working on you to purify yourself and your heart. 
Oh, look what we got at the bottom for Divine Feminines. Trust. Trust the Divine Plan is what I'm hearing. Trust. And look, there's two ducks. Sweet, there's two ducks on here. <laughs> Under the moonlight. So you may not see it. You may not see. See, there's darkness. You may not see it. We have hunger. He does have a hunger to come towards you. But it's moonlight. We can't see it. We have blossoming abundance. That's that new life that's coming. And we have change again. So again, we have another change. So this is the third change in this reading. And we have self-reflection. And look, I see unity. As within, so without. As above, so below. Micro, macro. Twin. Just release. Release the situation for now. Protection. The connection is protected. There's growth. Okay. And discernment. Use your discernment. There is fruition. Abundance coming. And then new beginnings. Beginnings. But it has to be balanced. He's working on balancing. And you're working on balancing. So twins. It has to be balanced. Before reunion. Yeah. Creation. Manifest and sovereignty. Know you are sovereign, divine feminine, because you have to hold your your own. You have to hold your own before coming back and see. Then after that is the divine masculine. Look, sovereign and divine masculine. Just like he has to become the emperor, you have to become the empress. Sovereign. To heal the world, being strong in your own, your own right, and he will appear. All right, I think I will end it there. Beautiful realization, look, the whole cosmo. And then there, there will be peace. So I hope that was helpful and useful to you, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, whoever's watching, Twin Flame Collective, who, who's watching. Let me know if it resonated in the comments. And love and light to you, and I will catch you next time. Bye, Twin Flames.